While training you build up strength, you build up speed and you build up control. You get better and you progress until a little mistake breaks everything apart and throws you all the way back to the beginning. The moment I fell, I knew something is wrong, something is not how it's supposed to be. And I looked at my leg and I was like, well, it's probably broken. And uh, that was also the moment where I started to realize what it actually means. It means that I won't be able to train for a few months and I won't be able to do all those projects I had in mind. I was really disappointed and I was also kind of angry about myself. The first few days in hospital, I always had those questions in my head about why did it happen, what did I do wrong, and I knew that this is not the right thing. I, I can't just be angry until it's healed up again. I rather should appreciate what I still can do now. And I started to write this list with things on it that I still can do, so like playing guitar and editing videos, whatever, and this list actually got really long. I always knew my leg is going to heal up, it's going to be good again. And as soon as I was able to walk again, I was so inspired, I was so motivated to just train, to get back into training. I think injuries are simply a part of the game and you shouldn't be frustrated if they happen to you as well. I mean, I don't want to say that I was happy that I was injured, but it was definitely a really good experience. I mean, I had so much time to do things I would probably have never done without injury and I had so much time to think about stuff. So um, yeah, and in the end it just makes you stronger and it makes you appreciate things that you probably would never do things just like being able to walk. Even if it feels like you have to start again from the beginning, you will rebuild your strength, you will rebuild your speed, and you will rebuild your control. And you simply will carry on from where you have stopped. <laughs>